Hey everyone, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. I want to welcome you to a brand new uh, Three Minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today we're going to talk about the spiritual gifts that's been given to us by the Holy Spirit and how we're to use them. But before we do that, man, go ahead and like this video and uh, click that bell icon so that you're notified about every video that comes out. And if you haven't subscribed to our page, man, go ahead and do that today. Spiritual gifts, man, that's kind of a heavy word. And sometimes we kind of leave it for different denominations that they're gifted or whatever. But here's the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is, is that everybody in the body of Messiah has a spiritual gift. Matter of fact, if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, this is what it says. It says, but to each person is given the manifestation of the Ruach or the Holy Spirit for the benefit of all. For to one is given through the Spirit a word of wisdom, to another a word of knowledge uh, according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, and to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit, watch, activates all of these things, distributing to each person individually as he wills. It is the spirit that's inside you for the body of Christ that gives you this gifting. And he gives it however he wants to, however he wills. But the gift is given to you, not so that it can bring glory to you or point to you or give you a certain skill set for a job out in the world. No, it is given for the benefit of all. That's what our passage said in 1 Corinthians 12, 7. It is the benefit for everyone. So here's the thing. When you don't use the gift that God has given to you, or maybe you don't know what that gift is, you're doing the body a disservice because the body is not complete without your gift and you using that gift God has given to you. You can even look at it like this. As you go on and you read that passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, what you'll see is Paul makes a really powerful statement. He says, can the foot say to the arm, I don't need you? You see, without your gift, we're not a complete body. If you're called to Epic Life Church, then you are called to bring your spiritual gift into this body and use it for the benefit of everyone. If you're called to the church down the street at your church or your community or wherever you're called, when you're not there doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're saying to the arm, I don't need you. Or you're saying to the leg, I don't need you. But we do need each other. You see, in the book of Acts, as I wrap this up, it says that they had everything in common. And when there was a need, everybody pulled together and fulfilled that need. It's the same today, that in the body of Christ, there are various needs and there are various giftings. And you have a gift that you can give to the body of Messiah. And I want to challenge you, begin to use that gift. If you don't know how, what your gift is, man, there are a ton of online resources that you can go to Google. Just Google spiritual gift test and you can find Find out what your gifting is and begin to learn to train and activate. Get under someone, get some training, activate that spiritual gift in your own life so that you can help the body become everything it was designed to be. I love you. God bless you. I hope this is encouraging you to live the life you were created for in the body of Messiah. God bless you. Shalom. Until next time.